Welcome to Grand Prairie Update. I'm Don Johnson. And I'm Terry Briggs. Here's what's making news in your city. After months of construction, Grand Prairie will soon open the doors of a larger and updated municipal complex downtown at 300 West Main. Phase one of the project is a new two-story, 30,500-square-foot building that connects the existing city hall with the existing development center. The $15 million addition features enhanced security designs for employees and visitors, state-of-the-art video and audio conferencing equipment, and a rain capture system to benefit the landscape. The new space consolidates several city departments into one area, a move designed to increase productivity, give the public better access to services, and keep pace with the city's growth. It's just uh, time our city needed a better front door, a better image. We're working with people coming in from around the country uh, wanting to do deals in Grand Prairie. I think it'll make a, a better, better impression. Uh, we waited a long time. We've done a lot of facilities in town before we finally got to um, our kind of our home down here. The complex will also have a new central entrance and new names on the buildings. The new two-story addition becomes City Hall Central. It will include the city manager's office, city attorney, and city secretary, along with economic development, planning, building inspections, engineering, public works, and transportation. Customers will use the new entrance and check in at the front desk. The old City Hall gets renamed City Hall West. Water utility customer service is staying at this building and customers will continue to use the existing drive through or walk-up entrance. Code compliance, fire prevention, information technology, and communications and marketing will also be located here. However, customers for those departments will use the new City Hall central entrance and check in at the front desk. And the existing development center is changing to City Hall East. Phase two of the project is the renovation of this building. We think we're gonna see housing coming back downtown. We're gonna see more restaurants and places to have fun. Downtown is gonna come back to life, but we're keeping our workforce here. We're putting our investment back where our citizens wanted it. The new City Hall is scheduled to open for business in late January. You can get more information about the project and the status of city services by visiting the city's website at gptx.org. We're going to actually have a map of the city and it'll tell us where to go. It'll give us the route. The new year brings an exciting new beginning that will benefit a lot of people in Grand Prairie. Guys over here, we're going to have the safe room. Should we have a tornado, this is a virtual bomb shelter. A public open house celebrates the reopening of the city's fire station number four and ushers in a new era for enhanced public safety and emergency response for thousands of citizens on the city's north side. Where the good stuff happens. The $5.4 million renovation and expansion of the station that was originally constructed 51 years ago has more than tripled its size and brings 21st century firefighting and emergency management technology to the station and its service area. The enhancements include an updated alerting system, larger equipment bays, and a safe room for storms and severe weather. The modern design also meets the latest ADA standards, accommodates male and female staff, and equips Grand Prairie with a fire station built to last into the next century. And if you think back in the, the 60s, the way the re way it was built uh, in, our, in the culture for the fire department today, we have lady firefighters, we have much larger fire engines. So the fire station that was here had to be completely gutted. The plumbing was falling apart. The foundation was falling apart. We couldn't park a new fire engine in it. And a lot of our lady female firefighters couldn't work here because of just the sleeping conditions. So we planned in 2015 to let's just rebuild it on site and just take a five-year approach. And here we are five years later. Fabulous, fabulous. And I've been through it now looking at it. And they have a shelter. I was just wondering myself if we can come here when they have a tornado because I see there's a shower room that's uh, shelter safe and, and all that type of thing. So I just think I'm so excited about it. I really am. And I made sure I got out here to see it. <laughs> 
Fight says the department is also looking forward to the completion of the rebuilding project at fire station number three on Robinson Road in central Grand Prairie, which is currently underway. Grand Prairie is expanding its popular Fish Creek Linear Trail. On Tuesday, the city installed a bridge that is part of a trail extension project. The biggest challenge was to maneuver the 12-ton steel span around the trees in the heavily wooded area. Most of these trails are, are, are you try to put them in, in scenic areas, in, in natural areas, and so uh, when, they're, when you're around a creek, especially in Texas, you're gonna, you're gonna find trees and, and trying to fit them in uh, it's a challenge uh, and it j definitely uh, makes it a little more expensive, uh, but uh, again, it makes the experience a lot better. The $440,000 project is part of the city's long-range trail system that gives residents a recreational link across the city. There is a parking lot at Matthew Road and from there you can go west all the way into Arlington for several miles or you can go east along the bridge and then up through Lake Ridge to Barden and go east further into Grand Prairie. The new extension of the Fish Creek Linear Trail should be ready to use this spring. The Grand Prairie Police Academy is renaming a classroom in memory of Officer A.J. Castaneda. Officer Castaneda was killed last summer while running radar on the Bush Tollway. During a dedication ceremony Tuesday, Castaneda's family toured the classroom that bears his name. I thought it was fear for them to do something like that, uh, especially since they just keep going and going every, every time we get a chance to, to honor him, they, they do it. And I'm, I'm really proud of that, really proud of that. Officials say renaming the room creates a lasting legacy for Castaneda's family and a daily inspiration for recruits. We have a lot of new officers uh, coming in the back of the room that didn't have the honor to meet Lyndon or Greg, and some didn't get to meet AJ. But I promise you this, they're going to know who AJ was. They're going to know who Greg was, and they're going to know who Lyndon was. Y'all have tough jobs. I worry about y'all every night, every day. You're on the top of my prayer list. Be safe, do your jobs. Let's continue to honor the ones we've lost. Y'all continue to do the jobs that you need to do to make us proud. And thank y'all, and I love being your mayor. The Academy previously renamed two classrooms to honor the two other fallen GPPD officers. Sergeant Gregory L. Hunter, who was shot and killed in 2004, and Officer Lyndon F. King, who was killed in 1982 by a suspected drunk driver. That's it for this edition of Grand Prairie Update. Remember, you can stay up to date anytime at gptxtv.org.